Okay, welcome to Transit Tuesday with the Paul Gauguin. And uh, we're set up here at Bora Bora. We've got a series of telescopes we'll be looking through and we'll be enjoying the planet Venus crossing the sun. Uh, it's due to start in just a few more minutes and hopefully we'll have a nice clear view. There are a few clouds in the sky that we'll have to wait through. Other than that though, it looks like we're going to have a perfect day for it. Dobson mounts for flexibility. Dobson mounts for Jesus mount. It's to transport. No, just to manage your badge on the side. Flags here for our ship, and each of them spells a one letter. We have Venus spelled out with our flags. Uh, Victor Echo November Uniform Zero. <laughs> How do you feel about this special event? Oh, I think it's absolutely amazing. It's a one-off opportunity, if you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> so when's this begin? 12, 12, 48. Are you excited? Oh, Transit of Venus. You better believe I'm excited. Good. That's why we're here. <laughs> Josh, what do we have here? What's this box? We're going to be projecting the image through the eyepiece up into the box so everyone can see it rather than an individual. Ah, okay. And we have filters on the... Um, on the other ones all have filters. Oh, this great. This is an unfiltered telescope. This is the danger yeah, no telescope. Okay. <laughs> this is the one that we can burn people at the on the eyepiece. Oh, how nice. Yes. All right. So if you don't cooperate, we make you look through this one. Okay. <laughs> So we have the big moment just about to start. Yep. And we have clouds. And we have clouds. <laughs> but that's to be expected. We have all afternoon to watch the transit of Venus. It would be nice to know that it's starting on time. Yes. Yeah. Calculations, it's calculations, one minute, right? right? Actually, this way, nobody can repeat my calculations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, did you see it for a moment before the clouds came in? Well, as soon as the clouds get out of the way, we'll come back. But you haven't seen it yet at all. Oh, no, no, it hasn't quite started. Right. For 12 12. There it is. There it is. A little tiny fleck of a speck, just down here, a little tiny shadow. And that's Venus coming across in front of the sun. Applause, applause. So what are you getting here? I'm getting the sun. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these have you done? <laughs> well, you mean solar eclipses and solar, solar eclipses. experiences. I think this would be about 15 now. 15. Yeah, yeah. But this is your, it's only your second transit. Well, it's my lifetime. I get to see two. That's it. Today that's right. I get one, you know? <laughs> that's the way it works, right? What is it called when Venus goes fully over the sun? There's a moment. Once it completely touches, the last edge of Venus touches the last edge of the sun, we call that second contact. We, we don't have very creative names for things like this in astronomy. The, the first sighting of it we call first contact. This will be second contact coming up here in just a few minutes. And once it gets all the way across, what do you think we call it? Middle contact or finish? Third contact. Oh, th <laughs> and then fourth contact and it's all done. Now third and fourth contact will take place after the sun set here at Bora Bora. Okay. So we're not going to see that actually here. But we did see first contact and we did, we'll see second contact, looks like. So first contact was at what time? Was it exactly the time predicted, 12-12-48. Oh, okay, 12-12-48. Yeah. All right. So that's just about the second contact. And look at that, we're getting a bit of a teardrop effect. The optical, they see the optical illusion where it looks like it's still attached as it comes away like that. And the reason that's happening is because of distortions caused by the atmosphere and the air and also are not perfectly flat surface. 
gives us a bit of a nice little distortion there. Very much like what Captain Cook saw. Do you, you take a timing when this happens? Lars is... He's posing. Oh, oh. There's the last touch coming. There it is. Look at the gap now. So it's 12.31.39. which is about what we calculated. Here, what do I have here? This is a hydrogen alpha telescope, a dedicated solar telescope that is used for looking at the chromosphere. Now, the chromosphere is a layer of the sun. At this point, hydrogen is losing energy. As it loses energy, what does it turn into? Either heat or light. In this case, light. So that we can actually see just this specific layer sitting over the top of the photosphere. We use this telescope. The only other time you can see this layer is during a total solar eclipse. So these scientific telescopes are designed to allow us to actually study it year-round, all the time. It's looking at hydrogen only, so as any time we have a cloud that comes over that is made of water, which is hydrogen and oxygen, we can't see through it. So we need perfectly blue sky, and then we get a view, a bright red view, of the, that layer of the sun. It's got a ways to go, doesn't it? Six more hours. <laughs> Come Foz move. Yeah. Yes. Can I be in a photo? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> live. You're live. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and shut her down now because cloud cover has kind of taken away the view of Venus. But we've had a brilliant, a brilliant several hours now of watching Venus travel across the sun. It's been absolutely beautiful, thanks to our host from the Paul Gauguin, and bringing out, allowing all the people here to come in and take a look at all the uh, transit and see it actually occurring live. We watched it from the very beginning up until now, just what, about an hour and a half before sunset. And clouds have come in and told us that it's time to pack it up. And maybe the clouds will move away because 9 o'clock tonight we're going to go ahead and have a stargazing up on the uh, top of the deck. Which basically means one thing, we astronomers never really do sleep. Yeah, we're always ready to look at the stars. And when's the next transit of Venus? Next transit of Venus will be in November of the year 2117. Hope to see you all there.